Hello, hello. Hello. Good hello. evening, everybody. Welcome Good to evening. our English class. Hello. Good to see you. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Well, congratulations because we are the first one who started classes day. And I understand that the rest of your partners will join us in the class. So that is very interesting, right? Always to, to be on time, always to have the responsibility to be here first. Okay, so that is fantastic. So it's a pleasure, guys, after a weekend that we have a weekend for resting, for staying with our families. And this is a great chance for all of us to study English today. I have a question. Did you study English? Do you study English on weekend? Hello? Do you study English? Estudiaron inglés? El fin de semana? ¿Me escuchan? From time to time. Okay, great. So, Adriana, do you practice English? More or less. Okay, but that's an advance. Okay, that's cool. Thank you. So, don't forget to practice, guys. It's always important, you know, taking a time to study. I mean, we have a great advantage in English that, for example, we can study English, watching television, listening to music, even though playing video games. I mean, it's very simple. You see somebody listening to music. Hey, what are you doing? You should be studying. Yeah, of course, I'm working with listening. So we have a great advantage. Watching a movie in English. Somebody asks you, hey, did you study English? Or well, why you're not studying English? Come on, I'm studying English. I'm watching a movie in English, okay? So there are like great you know, strategies to study English. So this is a great opportunity for that. So before that we start, I just want to ask you, ¿Qué, ¿Qué estudiamos en la clase anterior? ¿Qué, qué se acuerda? ¿Qué, ¿Qué recuerdan? What do you remember we started? Who wants to help me? Yes. What did we study? Um, preposition uh, at, in, until, around. Okay. Excellent. What else? ¿Qué más se acuerdan? Bears and third person. Okay, great, thank you. Okay, so let's start with the class for this day. We have different activities that we will develop in for this time. As you remember, as part of the class, let me share with you. We have the section number three for this class, especially this week. We have concluded the section number one and two. We will have the opportunity to go on with the part, the section three video conference number five, and also the topic for this class is how much is it? Perhaps it's a topic that you have studied previously in different levels, but the main purpose about this class is to socialize previous topics. Exercises that we have developed before, but at the same time will help us as part of the practice. At the same time, it would help us to reinforce some previous contents and maximize our English skills. So for this, let's start with this one. And we will request to Claudia Jocelyn who help us to read the, the general objective. Excuse me, no entiendo mucho la pregunta. Ah, que si puede leer el objetivo. Ah. Okay. All right. Thanks. Is that lesson participant will 
listen to a conversation about demonstrative white shopping. Thank you. Thank you, Claudia. Okay, so you can see we're talking about demonstrative white shopping. Es decir, demonstrativos. Cuando nosotros compramos, lo primero que vemos es un artículo, right? We check an article. Si usted va a una tienda, it could be um, furniture, eh, electrodomésticos, ¿Qué, ¿qué mobiliario se le viene a la mente? What um, devices do, do you remember? Microwave. Okay, thanks. What else? A television. A bed. <laughs> okay, what else? Shoes. Shoes. Okay, in a store, shoes. Uh, shoe stores. Closet. In closets, okay. Well, we're talking about different articles, of course. So we, we know about that. Diferentes articles. Entonces, cuando vemos estos artículos, when we see these articles, por lo general nosotros decimos ese, aquel, este, esos, aquellos. We call them demonstrative because we then we can identify some articles. That's why we select this part. And um, we will share the following. Look at this one. Vamos a la siguiente. Entonces, eh, we have the first example here. And we have the, the how much is it? This question is related to when you are getting a product, when you are getting an article. Usted va y pues pide un artículo y lo primero que pregunta qué es las características o pregunta el precio. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? What do you think? What do you ask first? Characteristics or the price? El precio. Price. The price. Price. Okay. Yes, okay, so people, you need to make sure how much is it and besides that one, so you can decide if you buy it or not the product. De repente usted va a la tienda y le dice, mire, ¿cuánto vale tanto? Ah, no, yo pasando iba, solo preguntando está, because the product is very expensive. So people make sure to buy the product y ver cuánto cuesta, si en el caso no, y then make a budget, hacer un presupuesto, you know, making money. So, tenemos ahí algunos colors. Le vamos a pedir a Adriana que nos lea el the circle, the roulette, con, las, con los nombres. Eh, green, hen, handsome, no, hen, handsome. Yellow, Hello. happy, orange, fun, red, excited, pink, loving, purple, Mister mysterious, brown friendly, black, black sad, green boring, white cool, blue. I don't see blue. <laughs> Thank you. It's so clear. Yeah. So, so yeah, brown friendly, black sad, gray boring, white mm -hmm. purple. And also, it's like, uh, we actually got like blue, you know. Most of the time, people think about different meanings of colors. For example, the yellow, it's related to happy. So according to what they think, right? So red is exciting. The pink is loving. The purple is a mysterious color. So look at that one. This is like the meaning of colors in the United States. Perhaps in El Salvador, we don't have some specific meanings about these colors, right? but we're respectful. And we have three equations that we have right there. Like the first one says, which words have a positive meaning and which words have a negative meaning? La primera cosa que usted va a hacer en este momento es que va a elegir qué palabras son positivas y cuáles son negativas. Ok, 
Ok, eh, Noé, léanos las preguntas, por favor. Casi no sé, mi. Which word have a positive meaning? Which word have a negative meaning? ¿Qué significa meaning? Significado. What meaning do that color have for you? What does your favorite color make you think of? Thank you. That's the way. So, usted va a pensar en las siguientes preguntas. Which words have a positive meaning? ¿Cuáles tienen un, un significado positivo del cuadro que usted está ahí, del círculo? The circle from the roulette. Usted va a sacar las palabras que son positivas y las palabras que son negativas. Right? That's the first thing you have to do. Entonces vaya sacando ya la listita de las palabras positivas y negativas. En este caso, pues esas palabras son adjectives, son adjetivos porque nos describen una personalidad o una característica. So we separate them. La siguiente sería, what meanings do these colors have for you? Pero, ¿y estos colores? Pero, ¿estos colores tienen, significa algo para usted? Por ejemplo, si yo le preguntara el amarillo, ¿qué representa para usted? Y si, pues, eh, los significados de estos colores eh, tienen algo que ver con usted o no está de acuerdo, por ejemplo, no, pues para mí el rosado pues no significa nada, o, o it represent love, o para mí el rosado representa paz, I don't know, you think about that. Entonces usted va, analiza si pues tienen algún significado para usted, o si comparte ese significado o no. And the last uh, question is, what does your favorite color make you think of? En este caso, pues, eh, ¿qué, su color favorito, ¿qué lo hace pensar? En este caso, pues, ¿qué, qué opina de su color favorito? Por ejemplo, eh, my favorite color is blue. Eh, this color is a relaxed color. It's like peace for me. Pues para mí el color, pues el color azul representa como, no sé, como alegría. In my case, in my opinion, en, en, es como es mi color favorito, el azul representa una alegría, una, una paz, no sé. That represents for me, represent peace, happiness, and I feel very encouraged, motivated to see the color. Entonces, usted va a responder estas tres preguntas, eh, siempre en base a lo que es el significado de los colores, cuáles son los positivos, negativos, si tienen algún significado para usted el color, eh, y las características de estos colores, o no representan nada. They don't represent anything to me, or they don't have a special meaning to me. Y que si algún color que a usted le gusta, pues representa algo, ¿qué es lo que representa? So, I will give you some, um, some time to do that, to respond this activity, and then we will share with our partners uh, this information. Remember, if you have questions or doubts about the vocabulary, you have a freedom to ask questions and participate actively. Si tiene dudas, pues usted me pregunta, Puede escribir aquí en el chat, teacher, mire, no sé cómo se escribe esta palabra, o está bien escrita, o está bien, entonces usted me dice y pues yo le ayudo con eso. Ok, um, is that clear what we had to do? ¿Está claro qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, sí, yes, yes. Ok, no. thank you. No. Hello, who says no? In, in, in pairs. No, in this case it's individually. Teacher, ¿nos podría escribir en el chat qué dice el color celeste? Ok, great. Grateful. Y es como soy un poco ciego. 
no veo. Grateful o thankful, algo así. Grateful. Graceful. Grateful. O oh, truly full, truly, true. Okay, I wrote the I wrote the color, so I, I, I know that in the chart it's like not so visible. So I had to rewrite it in the chat. Por ahí les escribí en el chat la, la palabra, que en este caso pues que es azul, aunque también parece como que fuera celeste, pero bueno, es azul, entonces es blue. Y entonces la palabra que representa el azul en los Estados Unidos es truthful. Para referirnos a la confianza, right? That is the trustful. That's the meaning about that. So you think about this color. And that in the, for Americans, representa como la confianza, right? That is the trustful. Having a miracle by a total belief in the reliability, trust, and ability. So we know, we know that color. Trustful, trustful, trustful. Okay, meanwhile, you work in this ans answers, I will uh, pass the attendance list. So I, I want you to help me with that. So you listen to your name and you say present. We go with the first one. Let's see. Uh, Adriana Gretel Gonzalez. Here. Agustin Alexander Santa Maria. Agustin Alexander. Agustín Alexander. 
no se escucha, no sé si, pues, ¿no está Agustín? No, no I think he's not here. No, he's not. Eh, Andrea Esmeralda Álvarez. Present. Araceli Esmeralda Ventura. Present. Carmen Andrea Santos. Carmen Andrea Santos. Claudia Jocelyn Rivas. Present. Denis Alonso Marinero. Denis Alonso. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Francisco Javier Orellana. Freddy José Álvarez Escobar. Eh, Gabriela Guadalupe Zamora España. ¿Se encuentra Gabriela? Eh, Gabriela María Peñalón. Gabriela María se encuentra. Eh, Gerson Vinicio Moreno Funes. Present. Glenda Elisette Flores Ramírez. Here. Eh, Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Jonathan Vladimir Salinas Alberto. Present. Carla Liliana Portillo Constante. Carla Liliana Portillo. Eh, Carla Tatiana Villanueva Serrano. Presente. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Present. Catherine. Eh, Luisa Ariana Guerra Cáceres. Present. Margarita Elizabeth Panameño Guzmán. Present. Eh, Mayra Patricia Pérez de García. Present. Eh, Nerlin Jaciel Flores Reyes. Present. Noé Alberto Calzadilla Herrera. Presente. Eh, Wendy Patricia Chavarría Ayala. Present. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys, let's continue with the breakout rooms. Vamos a trabajar en los breakout rooms y vamos a compartir las respuestas que ustedes han escrito. We will have a short time to socialize the answers. And the most important is to help each other to practice in the vocabulary. Así que estén atentos para pues, iniciar con su breakout rooms y participan activamente. Okay, let's go. Así que van aceptando la invitación para entrar a los grupos y a socializar las respuestas que ustedes tienen referentes a las questions. ¿Alguien? No puedo. Ahí viene ya. Ahí está. Gracias. <ríe> eh, ¿Cómo lo hacemos? Que cada uno pregunte primero, luego uh -huh. todos respondemos. Sí. <ríe> Podemos hacerlo uno por uno. Solo que no sé qué orden. Por ejemplo, eh, Green, que es Gilus. 
Es, creo que eso es ser celoso. Es negativo, entonces. Es negativo. Según verdad. Eh, sí. Eh, ajá, continúa bueno. alguien y vamos así. Ahorita que vaya, Cater. Primero son los, los positivos. Si quieren, llevémoslo así como en orden, en dirección de agujas del reloj. Vamos, green, yellow, orange, red. ¿Les parece? O, o todo de un solo. No, está bien. Yellow, ah. eh, happy, sería positive. Uh -huh. Sigue, no, eh. eh. Para mí las palabras negativas son black, sad, green, yellow, gray, boring. Boring significa aburrido, creo. Solo eso. Mm -hmm. Orange es is positive for you. Orange. Sí, fun. Es divertirse. Es fun, es divertido. divertido. Uh -huh. y... Blue. Okay. Que, que era negativo o positivo. Todas las que dije son negativos. Ajá, okay. sí, Pero correcto. Ajá, es, es light blue, celeste. Eh, es que yo nunca lo alcancé a ver. Ustedes lo ven, yo no. No, casi no se distingue. No. Yo, voy a sí. que, yo voy a pensar que es positivo. Frasco, Es positivo. Sí, es positivo wow. porque es como confianza. ¿Cómo? ¿Qué, ¿Qué significa eso, teacher? Es confianza, trustful. Ah, trustful. Ok. Trustful. Um, Ahora es la otra. The positive for me is orange, red, pink, purple, brown, white. Uh -huh. Bueno, ya lo dijo él. Si quieren, entonces pasamos con las preguntas. Eh, la segunda. Vaya, lo que podemos hacer es. Eh, preguntar eh, a cada uno un color. Por ejemplo, yo le pregunto a Noé qué representa, digamos, el rojo para él. No sé si les parece esa forma. Okay. Ah. Uh -huh. For me, is low. No, pero te voy a preguntar primero. <ríe> eh, quiero ver, sería... Uh, what represents a white color for you? Creo que más o menos así. Sería qué significado tiene el, este color para ti. Ah, what uh -huh. meaning? No, es que aquí yo estoy usando mis palabras, o sea, pero aquí no. dice que, cuál es el significado de estos colores para nosotros. Pero ahora yo te pregunto eh, que, qué significa en este caso el, el blanco, qué significa para vos. The color white for me is peace. Está bien. Good. Me parece. ¿Alguien más quiere preguntar? Mejor hagámoslo tal cual están las preguntas ahí. Tú. Y que alguien más, sí. o sea, que todos demos una opinión sobre qué pensamos de todos los colores, o sea, todas las emociones uh -huh. que están ahí. Voy a responder yo esa. Dice, uh -huh. what okay. meaning do you this color for you? For me, red, love, love, black, dark, white, peace, purple. Sería la Semana Santa. Okay. For me, uh, represent uh, yellow. Uh, Le voy a decir lo que se me viene a la mente, sí. Por ejemplo, uh, sun, uh, sunny days. Orange, represent... Uh, a team, red represent eh, blood, sangre, pink, I think uh, a girl, girl, es un color que se asocia bastante con las mujeres, eh, purple, eh, purple si no sé qué representa para mí, eh, brown, coffee, Coffee podría ser eh, black, eh, por ejemplo, shadows o uh, or night, eh, yeah. gray, it's um, 
between white and black. Uh, white represents the sky for me. And green represents, se me olvida como se dice, bosque. Woods. Woods. Ah, uh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> no sé quién sigue. Okay. Finish. Um. Uh, did you finish? Terminaron? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, guys, uh, you know, congratulations for the practice. I know that the time well, was not enough, but I could listen to some groups uh, talking a little bit about what represents, especially for them, the colors and what are their favorite colors if they represent something in them. So let's continue uh, with the next activity. Let's go on to the next part, in which we have a conversation. Tenemos una conversación. Y vemos la conversación que es acerca de they are perfect for you. Vamos a ver, vamos a seguir la conversación. Les voy a compartir también la pronunciación de, de la conversación para que usted también la tenga y la pueda practicar también en la clase. Entonces, eh, así que, pues lo escuchamos y todos siguen la lectura. Look at this one. It says... Oh, look, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this, mm, the yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Look at that. So look how interesting is this conversation. And, and what I want you to do is like to take a short time to practice this conversation because it's really good. So it says like, um, oye, mira esos aritos. Cuando decimos aritos en inglés es earrings. That's the name of the vocabulary. They are perfect for you. Están perfectos para ti. They're those Sería um, these red ones, estos, estos rojos. Por eso cuando usamos the, this, estos rojos. I, I'm not sure, no estoy segura. No, the, the yellow ones, los amarillos. Oh, these, estos, mm, the yellow isn't really a good color for me. Es decir que pues el amarillo no es un buen color para mí. Well, that necklace isn't bad, pero ese collar, cuando decimos necklace, estamos hablando de un collar, 
No está mal. Which one? ¿Cuál? That blue one right there. Ese azul, porque decimos que that se convierte en S. Ese azul que está ahí. How much is it? ¿Cuánto cuesta? That's the meaning. How much is it? It's $42. Um, vale $42. That's expensive. Está costoso. That's expensive. Está costoso. Hey, let me get, let me get it for you. Hey, deja, déjame conseguírtelo. It's your birthday present. Es tu regalo de cumpleaños. Entonces le dice happy birthday. So look how important this conversation. And that's why the, the, the expression, it's they are perfect for you. That's mean that this person fit with this, especially that one. After practicing the conversation, vamos a responder las siguientes preguntas. Look at that. Is shopping painful for you or is it a pleasure? ¿Qué creen ustedes? Eh, ¿Ir de compras es doloroso o es un placer para ustedes? What do you think? It's a pleasure or painful? Painful. Painful. It's, a It's painful. Never, never. Goodbye money. <laughs> no money. Yes. Ok. Entonces, en vez de que sea un placer ir de compras, es painful, es doloroso for you. Mis ahorros, my savings, people say. That. No. So bad. But it's good because you got new clothes, new articles. When you get a new cell phone, usted quiere un nuevo celular. ¿Va a ser un dolor o no va a ser un dolor? ¿Qué dicen ustedes? Depends. It's a pleasure yeah. with painful. It's a pleasure, but it's painful. Ah, they come with yeah. it. Okay. Depends if I have the money, it's a pleasure. Ah, yes. But yes, this I don't un, have, it's a pleasure. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, what do you spend most of your money on? Uh, so, what do you spend most of your money on? In clothes, in food, in music, in furniture? The, the question is related to the. ¿En qué gasta más su dinero cuando, cuando hablamos de compras en shopping? What do you spend most of your money on? In the What? supermarket. Supermarket. Uh, food? Mm, food. 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 Ok. Mm, technology things. Ah, technology things. Ok, good. A computer, a cell phone, a tablet, mm -hmm. and a keyboard, yes. a screen. If he... Um, what's the soltero? Single? Single. Yes. If if he is single, video can, games. <laughs> can buy these things. But when you have a family, the priority is oh, oh my god. <laughs> the kids no. are the kids are priority. Okay. Don't buy. <laughs> Some the people food, say the clothes, the, the energy, the water, the old thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yo creo que en, en quien menos piensas en uno. O sea, es decir, yes. uno gasta en todo, pero menos en uno, I think, I guess. Mm. Ya yeah, usted dice, voy a comprar unos zapatos, pero ya no para usted, sino que for your family, for your kids, for somebody else in your family. So there are some other priorities, of course. Entonces... I see, no sé si será painful or not. <laughs> so, do you have a favorite department store or shopping center? ¿Tienen algún departamento de, you know, dentro de la tienda que le gusta más? Por ejemplo, cosméticos, cosmetics, electronics, uh, clothes. Uh, clothes. Clothes, no. okay. Shoes. Shoes, okay. Maybe. Shoes department. Eh, furniture, que es, que es furniture, es como mobiliario, donde usted veía yes. sillones, mesas, the furniture. Toys. Toys, ah, toys for your kids, ok, good. Yes, yes. Yeah, toys, I, uh, toys, is, yeah, that's ok. Sports, for example, sports, video game section. Um, do you have a favorite supermarket? Only say yes or not. Don't say the name. Or mm. whatever. Whatever is lo que sea. O whatever is donde sea. Usted compra donde sea. Whatever. Or you have a favorite supermarket. 
Whatever. ¿Cómo se dice? Eh, wherever es donde sea. Eh, no, pero ofertas. Offerts. Oh. Special offers. Uh, a supermarket with the special offers. Depend if the supermarket have uh, offers and offers. Ah, okay. If the supermarkets have offers, it's the place. Maybe. Maybe. This. Um, Discount? No, 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 no. Maybe can can be my favorite supermarket, supermarket okay. but it don't have offers. No. <laughs> okay, it's not, um, as we could say in English, convenient. O sea, no es muy conveniente. It's not convenient when there are not offers. I yes. like buy uh, online too. Ah, okay, online too. O sea, para mm -hmm. no decir las, las marcas, porque... Pues for no for example, si okay, online. For, okay. for yes, for example, Walmart uh, has a a good offers sometimes. Depending location. Depending the location, yeah, of course. Depending. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah there are okay, ya yeah, usted hasta cliente frecuente, ya yeah? el mismo de siempre. Okay, you know the special offers. That's okay. That's good. Right, so the next question is, do you ever visit small shops? Okay. Mm. Small, big, <laughs> all. Whatever, all, all of them, all of them. Small, big, okay. Sure, that's good. All small right, so, shops. yes? Small shop. Yeah, so there are some shops that, you know, are very convenient because there are promotions. Or also, there, there are some varieties. Hay como variedades también de, de los productos. I mean, you have different products, so it's convenient. People love that. And also, they enjoy this kind of things or products. Okay, vamos a hacer, eh, vamos a la siguiente parte. We go on to the next part. You know, because I don't know if you feel, but the class is going so fast. Look what time is it? It's like 44. And I think that we, I, I remember that we started some minutes ago. Iniciamos hace unos minutos y miren, ya, the class is actually going on so fast. Okay. We go with the next topic. And this is um, our backup review of the previous exercises. Vemos los demonstratives. ¿Se acuerdan de este tema? Me dicen yes or not. Do you remember this topic? The demonstrative adjectives. Yes. 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 You remember. Ok, veamos el chat. Si yo les digo la palabra this, what is the meaning about this in, in Spanish? This, 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 in my, this in my hand, this in my hand. Es Por para example, referirnos a hand, algo new, en singular yeah. que lo tenemos cerca. Exactly. Yes. Una cosa. Excellent. When things are close and singular. That's okay. When things are close and singular. Muy bien. Y si yo les pongo la palabra that, what is that? Significa eso. Es algo okay, que yo. tenemos mm -hmm. eh, no cerca, sino está a cierta distancia. Como decir eso. It's... Uh, far away or is not closed to us and also it's for singular and in Spanish significaría como es, eso, esa, ese, aquel, aquella. Aquel. Uh, miren todos los significados que tiene. Eso, esa, ese, aquel, aquella. That's the meaning about that. This is also uh, part of the demonstrative attitude. What happened if I write this? Look at this. Look at the chat in the chat. Esas, esos, este. Mm, es plural. para las cosas están cercas. Sería. Esta, Cuando eh. son estos, que hay un, más de una cosa. Mm -hmm. And are closed. Están cerca. Mm -hmm. Y cerca. Uh -huh. Yes. Están cerca. Estos, estas. Hasta ahí. Ario y estos, cerca. Estos. Mm -hmm. Like this. And the last, but not the least, is this one. Um, those, what's the meaning about those? Esos, aquellos, esos. Mm -hmm. 
when the things are not closed and are plural, right? Esos, esas, aquellos, aquellos. That will be the meaning about the demonstrative adjectives. And also when we go to a store, there are different products that sometimes we cannot approach them. Hay algunos productos que nosotros los vemos que están como en una pared o están en un mostrador y no los podemos tocar. Entonces ahí ocupamos nosotros los demonstrative adjectives para la persona que está teniendo, eh, pues usted le señale cuál es el producto o, o no los, tal vez no los toque, pero están cerca. Are very close to, to you, so you can say that one. So, look at that one. Uh, $42, $42, or oh, $59.95, like the, when we are talking about prices, que son los precios. And also, I have a curious question. Imagine that you need a cell phone. How much money would you spend in a cell phone? ¿Cuánto dinero es lo más que gastaría? How much money would you spend the most to get a cell phone? ¿Cuánto gastaría en un celular? $200. $200. Okay. Yes. Okay, nice. Someone else? $300. Okay. $300. A good cell phone. Yes. Sí, a Omni. Ah, okay. <laughs> the brand. Uh, someone else? Think in the mass or in the menos, somebody else? <laughs> Is anybody here who will spend $500 in a cell phone? No. Too much money. Yeah. Too much money. Too much money in a cell phone, $500. Okay. All right. So that's not convenient. Okay. Le vamos a pedir a, let's see. Un voluntario que nos lea las oraciones que están acá. Volunteer. Eh, Mayra. Thank you, Mayra. All. Yes. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much that, that necklace? How much is that one? How much which one? The blue one? How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. It's forty-two dollars. Pop fifty-nine ninety-five or fifty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. They're eighteen dollars. Thank you so much. That's right. So you can see the prices. It always is like it's 42, it's 50, it's 20, depend, it's singular or plural. In that case, vemos que dice la pregunta, vemos un celular y digo, how much is it? How much is it? Oh, how much is this necklace? Oh, how much is this one? Eh, pues usted sabe que ocupa el, el this one o el that one eh, cuando pues usted ya tiene el producto en la mano y no, no tiene necesidad de volver a decir Mire cuánto vale el celular y ya usted lo tiene en la mano. Entonces, a la persona pues que usted se lo muestra, pues ya no tiene necesidad de decirle y solo le dice this one. ¿Cuánto cuesta este o esta? Entonces, reemplaza el, el, el sustantivo por, en este caso, por el demostrativo. So, how much is this necklace? Or how much is this one? Oh, it's not close. It's like, how much is that necklace or that one? Which one? The blue one. Oh, the red one, the yellow one. Entonces usted puede utilizar colores o depende del color para darle como referencia. Oh, the, the black one, the red one. Yes, this one, is this one, the red one. Oh, it's $32. How much is are, are these earrings? 
¿Cuánto cuestan estos aretes? Estos. O, how much are this? ¿Cuánto cuestan estos? Porque ya los tiene y ya no tiene necesidad de decirlo otra vez. Oh, those earrings. Or th those. Y para decir cuáles, yo digo, which ones? ¿Cuáles? The which, yellow one? ones. which ones? Which ones? ¿Cuáles? Oh, with the yellow ones. The blue ones. The red ones. The black ones. Entonces, ahí cuando, cuando yo digo en español es como decir, ah, los negros, los azules, los cafés. Entonces, usted sabe que puede ser one para singular y ones para plural. Y combina los colores. The blue one, the blue ones, the yellow one, the yellow ones, the red one, the red ones, and also the prices. Si es plural, usted va a decir, they are 20, they are 50, they are 70 dollars, they are 200 dollars, they are 300 dollars. Y pues si es singular el producto, pues usted dice, it's 22 dollars, it's 50 dollars, it's 30 dollars. So this is about the demonstrative adjectives. I, I have a question. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, then uh, the word one sus, uh, sustituye en este caso a, a no repetir nuevamente el artículo que queremos. Exactamente. Ya lo, está ya lo está indicando que ese es el que queremos. Exactamente. Entonces ya no tiene que repetir. Eh, imagínense, usted tiene un celular en la mano. Entonces, uh -huh. este, ¿y, y cuáles? Eh, ¿Los negros? Entonces, en vez de decir, ah, los aretes negros, usted dice de una vez, ah, los negros. Entonces ya no tiene que repetir el sustantivo, sino más bien, pues, eh, en este caso, pues, el color, la característica. Mm, okay. yes. sí. en, ese, en ese caso, teacher, por ejemplo, si yo sé, quiero comprar una camisa. Ya. Yeah. Y la vendedora me pregunta que cuál sería incorrecto que yo le dijera the blue. Tengo que decirle the blue one. The blue one. Ajá, the blue one. Ajá. Para es, es como decir, eh, ¿cuál? Azul. Si usted solo le dice blue, es como azul. Ah, entonces the blue one, ah, el azul. El verde. Ya, ya incluye eso. Ok. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. So, that's it. Yeah. I have a question. Uh, yeah. One say the which. One say. Which. ¿Cuándo utilizar? Sí. Ah, which. Eh, which es como decir cuál. Entonces, which es cuál. Entonces, ¿quién, imagínese que, que usted me dice, oh, ok, how much is this necklace? Pero yo ahí veo varios. Entonces le digo, ¿y cuál? Eh, which one? Ah, y usted me dice, ah, the blue one. Ah, ok, thank you. O si es plural, um, how much are those shirts? ¿Cuánto valen estas camisas? Y yo le digo, pero ¿cuáles? Si hay bastantes. Uh, which ones? Oh, the, the black ones, las negras. Entonces, para eso ocupamos el which one. Y eso no, no, es solo en cuestiones de compras. En cualquier en cosa. Otras cosas. Otras, todo, generales. This is general. Cualquier cosa que usted pues, quiera referirse, pues. Uh, another question. Um, the, different, the difference between what, what is, and which one, what sería? Entonces, mm, porque es que... what, uh, what viene siendo igual, bueno, cuál, in which, cuál. Excellent. Buena pregunta. Cuando hablamos de what y which, son los famosos eh, como relative. Closes. Pero la diferencia de which es que ocupamos which para referirnos a dos objetos en general. Por ejemplo, cuando yo ocupo el cual, yo automáticamente pues puedo comparar dos cosas. Cuando hablamos de un demonstrative, which one, cuál. Entonces, pero en este caso, what va un poquito más encaminado como a qué. ¿Qué hora es? What time is it? ¿Cuál es tu libro favorito? What is your favorite book? Entonces, cuando comparamos cosas o hablamos de dos cosas, vamos a utilizar siempre which. Which book? ¿Cuál libro? Which car? ¿Cuál carro? Which cars? ¿Cuáles carros? O which ones? You know. It's okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Thanks.
let's continue. Ok, ahí tenemos más ejemplos. Tenemos singular. How much is... Cuando yo quiero decir, pues, un producto, yo quiero saber cuánto cuesta ese collar, porque está bonito. Yo digo, I'm sorry, how much is this necklace? Y si está lejos, how much is that necklace? Y me dice el vendedor, which one? ¿Cuál? Oh, uh, the blue one. El azul que está ahí. Ah, ok, it's $32. Y si lo vemos en plural, es like, how much are these earrings? ¿Cuánto cuestan estos aretes? O puedo decir, how much are these earrings? O these ones. Cuando yo digo these ones, es porque ya o tengo los, o tengo los aretes los, conmigo, o están tan cerca como para no volver a repetirlo. Pero si, pues, hay tantas cosas, entonces yo tengo que especificar qué es. How much are, the, are these earrings? Those earrings. O oh, those ones. Si es plural. Which one? ¿Cuál? Which ones? ¿Cuáles? The yellow ones. Los amarillos. They are $18. Entonces vemos siempre como los demonstrative. Y vemos que usamos el one y el ones. Para referirnos siempre pues a cuáles. Cuando, cuando el vendedor te pregunta, ¿y cuál o cuáles? Y usted le da referencia con el color. The blue one, the yellow one, the pink one, the black one, or the black ones, the yellow ones. So you can combine also with the equation. No sé si está un poco claro esta estructura. Yes. Hagamos unos ejemplos. Look at this one. Let's practice. Complete these conversations, then practice with the partner. Vemos en el en ejercicio uno dice exercise. Excuse me, how much are those jeans? ¿Y cuánto cuestan estos eh, jeans? Es como pantalones de mezclilla para nosotros. Aquí, la, aquí en Salvador, ¿cómo le llaman? ¿Cómo le dicen a los jeans? Jeans, right? Pero una traducción sería pantalones de mezclilla. Pero nosotros no le decimos así, ¿verdad? Blue jean, le decimos. Y aunque sean negros. <risa> Correcto. Jeans. Ok. Ajá. Y, y mire cuánto cuesta el blue jeans verde que está ahí. Verde. Uh, <risa> jeans. Ok. Jeans is like a. Podría ser un. Spanglish, right? English. <risa> no sé. Entonces, eh, jeans. Es como cuando alguien te dice, hey, vamos a tomarnos un coffee. Spanglish. Combina inglés y español. Spanglish. English. Spanglish, mm -hmm. you combine. English. Spanglish. Yeah. Spanglish. Spanglish. Okay. Y dice, excuse me, how much are those jeans? Which? Um, which one? Which, which one? Which are? Which are? Which ones? Which are? Ah, which ones? Okay. Which ones? Which ones? Como, yes. como los jeans. Somebody, sí, yes. Se refiere a plural. Entonces which vamos ones? a decir which ones. Ahí le voy a escribir en el chat. Which ones? Uh -huh. Ok. Y la respuesta en este caso pues sería. Um, do you mean? Do you mean? ¿Cuál sería ahí? No, the light blue. Entonces, eh, en la parte B dice, which one do you mean eh, this? Entonces, podríamos mm -hmm. decir, eh, ¿tú te refieres a estos? Entonces, eh, ahí como que le dice, do you mean this? Those? ¿Te refieres a estos? No, the light blue. The light blue. Ones. Yes. Uh, the light blue ones. Muy bien, the light blue ones. Oh, they are. Those. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are también. Podemos decir they are. Oh, those are. Y ahí pues dice 59.95. 59.95. 
almost 60 dollars. Are you kidding? Hasta se asustó cuando vio el precio ahí como que, no, ¿de qué me está vendiendo? ¿Qué me está vendiendo? Vamos con la dos. I like this. Pero ahí dice over there, significa ahí. Entonces sería I That's like Those. That, that backpack yeah. over there. How much? How much? I like that. It is. It. Ah, how much is it? How much is it? Is you? Is you going to say qual? Which one? Which which one? Which, which one? The you red know, one. The red one. The red one. Ahí en el chat lo vamos actualizando. It's uh twenty-seven uh, forty-nine, but. One. This green. This green. Sería this green. This green. Is. That, that, that is the, the green. Uh, but this green is only $22. Oh, let me see it, please. Si usted se fija, la vendedora pues está cerca. ¿verdad? It's closed about that. So depending si está cerca o está lejos, you know, you can also combine that. Okay, for tomorrow's class, we will continue with some exercises using um, the demonstrative adjectives. So the time actually has concluded, but we will continue tomorrow with the rest of the activities. So thank you so much for this night and have a beautiful night to all of you guys. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.